Right about the state of COVID-19 in Forsyth County, Public Health Director Joshua Swift spoke with the county commissioners earlier this afternoon and just wrapped up a call with reporters as well. He said several times that the health department is being strategic with its approach to the virus. We asked him exactly what that means. He says it's about identifying people who need testing. Going on to clarify that people who fall into various high risk categories work in jobs where it's virtually impossible to social distance or have been historically marginalized. Those are some of the groups that they're focused in on right now. We should expect to see an increase in testing sites in the 27105 area of the county. Swift says he hopes to get those sites up and running by the middle to the latter part of this month. When it comes to schools, Swift says it's a bit too early to tell, but a school nurse supervisor right now is working with the district. Swift reminded the community again COVID-19 needs to be taken seriously. Wearing a mask not only protects your friends, but it protects your neighbors as well. And if everyone does it, everyone will protect each other. For a fourth day in a row, the state is setting a record for the number of North Carolinians in the hospital fighting COVID-19. Right now, there are 812 patients in the hospital. The state's reporting more than 39,000 cases, but at least 23,000 people are presumed to have recovered. Governor Roy Cooper says he does not have the coronavirus. He took a test earlier this week, but because he says he was in a crowd last week during a protest. The governor says he never had any symptoms, but still encourages anyone who has been in a crowd or at a protest to get tested as soon as they can. And you can find a list of our testing sites and a full county by county breakdown of cases right now on our website, WXII12.com. This is also available on the free WXII12 News mobile app. A speedway is shut down, at least for the time being. This comes after North Carolina health officials, officials rather, issued an abatement order and just hours ago were granted a temporary restraining order against the track for violating the governor's executive order that limits crowd sizes. WXI's Justin Schreer has the story for us from Alamance County. And a lawyer for the two men who run races over at A Speedway says that his client's rights are being infringed upon while the state says the speedway operating as is is an imminent health threat. Just hours after lawyers for the two sides laid out their own respective arguments, the decision was made. The appropriate ruling is that I'm going to grant a temporary restraining order. Attorney Chuck Kitchen represents Jason and Robert Turner, who he says run the races at Ace Speedway. Kitchen argued that his clients were never named, never served, and were not in violation of the abatement order state health officials issued Tuesday. He believes his clients are being singled out. It is very difficult. You are fighting the state. And, you know, if you're just a, a, a person in, in Alamance County trying to make a living, that's tough on you. Kitchen also says that his clients met with the sheriff, a county commissioner, and the local health director and took appropriate steps to keep the races safe. He says other tracks are operating and does not think that the restrictions in place are reasonable. What they can't do is say we'll only have 25 people in the stands or 25 people all together. It simply is not reasonable. It shuts them down. Special counsel Andrew Casper, who is representing the state, says the Speedway clearly violated the terms of the abatement order and poses a serious and immediate risk to public health if races continue the way they are. The continued operation of, of a speedway is, and I quote, an immediate threat to human life and, and again I quote, an immediate threat of serious adverse health effects. Casper also says the several features of the raceway increase the risk of COVID-19 spreading from people gathering in large crowds to people yelling and cheering close together. He says the races should stop until they comply with the executive order. There is a risk of irreparable harm if the races occur this Saturday. Uh, there is a high risk of transmission. And In the meantime, the judge says there will be no races at the Speedway until the next hearing, which is scheduled for June 19th. In Alamance County, Justin Schreier, WXII 12 News. Thanks, Justin. A Speedway put out a statement on its Facebook page announcing today's practice is canceled. Its events on Friday and Saturday are canceled as well.